Good afternoon or good morning or uh, how's everyone doing today? All right, so today I'm talking about updating your iOS firmware without using iTunes and in the process, hopefully retain your user data. Now, the process I'm going to, to show you, I, I've done, oh, close to 150, 200 times and um, I've only lost about three devices um, in um, where I've either a reset the device or I, I, I've lost the, the data. So again, if you are using this process, please make uh, a backup of the device b before you proceed because uh, Murphy does work uh, about and can cause can cause us some problems. All right, but why would you want to update your iOS to begin with? Well, I first started using this process uh, when the when uh, my department uh, obtained Gray Key. So we had a backlog of iDevices um, that the iOS was below what um, Gray Shifts Gray Shifts product supported. So I, I began experimenting with uh, using a, a product called 3U Tools to update the iOS into a version supported by, uh, by GrayKey. Now, we all know that in order to update, you, you've got to get clearance from Apple with the, the SHWABs. Um, so you have to run a supported version, and I'll show you how to determine that. All right. So once, um, but that uh, that with the gray key um, issue, that was quite some time ago. But why would you want to do it now? And uh, a couple reasons would be a you need to reanalyze a device. A newer device um, and to obtain a full file system download. Now, as you can tell, to obtain a full file system download, you need to have access to the device. If you don't have access to the device, you don't you don't want to you don't want to do this. Um, so you need complete access. All right. So with that in mind reanalyzing a device to obtain a full file system or using a or if you have a cold case that um, you might want to reanalyze and again obtaining a full file system download um, from whatever forensic tool you're using now the reanalysis of either an, an older device or a cold case device Again, you need full access. And these are um, devices that are uh, have an iOS firmware version of below 12.3. Because in order to obtain a checkmate, check rain, full file system extraction, the, your device needs to be running 12.3 or newer. However, if you're not, let's I'll show you how to how to get it done. Now, we are using a tool from 3U Tools, and I have the website uh, listed above. Uh, and this is kind of a uh, consumer-based free tool, but it, it allows for uploading and downloading of pictures, music, etc. What I use it for is for the uh, for its firmware database and for uploading or updating an uh, iOS device um, to the latest and greatest firmware with retaining my, uh, retaining my data. Now, as you can see, uh, when you first launch the tool, it's waiting for you to you know, plug in the device and select trust. All right, so now once you've done that, um, you're going to have to hit the OK prompt because even though you got to plug in, it sees it's connected and it gives you a couple trouble troubleshooting tips. All right, so this is your main screen 
uh, with the tool plug uh, with your iDevice plugged in. Uh, and it has a, a, a wide variety of information that uh, you, you can review. The items that I am most interested in are, let's see, where's my little, are these items right, right, right here. All right, so right now, the tool has recognized and, um, that this device is an iPhone 6S Plus, 128 gig, and currently it's running 10.2.1. Uh, and if you look down below, um, you can see that um, this particular device doesn't have a whole lot of uh, photographs and, and information. Um, but as we proceed, uh, I'll, I have one device that is a little, a little bit more robust. Okay. So with those three items, all right. So we have our iPhone 6S Plus, iOS, iOS version. Uh, 10.2. So uh, with those two items um, and reviewing what the check rain specs are, we're good with the exception of the iOS version. We have a supported device. We just don't have a supported iOS version. So we need to update the, um, the iOS firmware. So now once you select uh, flash and jailbreak now I, I i did a i, I did a quick bait and switch the, this screen is showing uh an iphone 5s uh because this is the one that had had content on it all right so by selecting the flash and jailbreak selection now the software already has remembered that i had plugged in an iphone 5s so it is presenting me with just the firmware available for this device. However, as you can see above the red underline, I can pick and choose uh, what firmwares I am interested in if uh, I want to select a, another, another iOS device. However, we have an iPhone 5S. Now in the square box um, to the right, you see flash and you see a green, uh, green dot. Those green dots represent what Apple will currently support. So we see that in this, in this screen, Apple currently supports for a 5S phone, 12.4.6 or 12.4.4. And from there, you can um, select download uh, with the download arrows. Even though you can, as you can see, some of the green, there's uh, the green dots are not always highlighted either under jailbreak or under the flash, but you can still download that firmware. All right, we are not interested in the jailbreak column. Uh, we are just interested in the flash, what's available from Apple and what is still supported by Apple. If you were to download an older version of a jailbreak, you would need the SH blobs to um, authenticate that firmware package. So we don't, I don't go in, don't go into that. So with the flash, we and then we just download it um it's it's going to see hey uh, before you want to uh before you want to flash because i um let's see what so we download it Whoop, I'm, i've i've flashed and as you can see on the left hand side, I, I, I have checked retain user data. And, and that's why once you retain, select that in the download, that's why you are uh, presented with this um, with this reminder box. Um, check the box on erase user while flashing doesn't always work. And that's correct. I've 
in, in the, in the phones that I've done, I've lost one. So before you attempt this process, you might want to perform your logical extraction and your file system extraction um, to back up the data before doing this process. All right, so once you start um, the process, um, three U tools will go through uh the the entire process um with uh with extracting the necessary files uh images from the firmware and and perform the upload and the i'm sorry the update now um you see we have a full list of green check marks that's good uh once in a while you'll see a one in red now, in this particular case, and I, and I don't perform a live version of the um, of the download because it it took you know about ten minutes to to complete, and that ten minutes is just um, to download and begin the up, upload or the updating process. Once it completes here, the phone still has to still has to reboot. Now, once you once the iPhone reboots from this phase, um, you'll be presented with a, some screens very similar to a brand new uh, brand new reset device. That's not the case. You still have to go through um, a couple a couple screens, but once you get to the the dashboard, all your all your data should should be there. All right. So here we have the iPhone 5S. We have a before uh, screen where I was running 10.0.2, and here uh, here is the uh, system system space uh, and data data space of some photos and stuff like that. Once the process was completed. I now have an iOS um, uh, device that's been updated to 12.4.2, and as you can see in the hard drive, uh, hard disk capacity, I still have my uh, my my photos, my apps, etc. So from here, now that the device has been updated, I can now move on to my forensic tool of choice and perform a full file system uh, download where I will be able to capture uh, the user's media, photos, and applications. Now, one thing to remember, we are, uh, we are making changes to the device, but we are only updating the, um, the operating system. We are not adding um anything uh any new uh user data to the device one thing you you could uh you could do if you are concerned about is this a legitimate firmware from apple well we know it is because in going through the process the updating process it's perform it's performing the firmware is performing its internal checks and balances to make sure that this is a uh, legit firmware package okay however you still can you, you know you still can download um, your firmware package from apple if you know if you so desire okay so and there we have our end results all right so now from here let me show you let me share three U tool. Share. All right. So hopefully now you can see uh, my uh, three U tools is up and running. It's telling me to please connect uh, my iDevice using the cable. So with that, can everyone? Can everyone see my 3U tools screen?
Yeah, you can see you. Okay, excellent. All right, so now we have three U tools up and, and running, and I've just plugged in that iPhone uh, 6S that, that I started out with. So from here, I want to go to Flash and Jailbreak. Now you see I am on the easy flash uh, screen on the left pane. Don't want to be there. I want to go down to firmware, and you have you have to have an internet connection. Then it will pop up what firmwares firmware versions are available for my iPhone 6s Plus that I currently have plugged in. However. I can, if I want to change up the devices, here's all the devices that 3U Tools supports. Okay, so my 6S Plus, and as you can see, I have two uh, green check flash uh, available. So we have the 3.5, or uh, I can get the 3.45. I've always I've always chosen the um, uh, not the current model, but uh, if there's one previous model that is still supported, I will I will choose that one. From here, you go to download. Now I've already downloaded the file, so now I want to uh, want to go up here to Pro Flash on the left pane. And the nice thing about uh, 3U Tools, it will walk you through how to get into DFU mode. Got it. All right, so now from here, uh, we need to load up the device that we currently want to update. So we have to go to Import Flash or Firmware. And the one that I just downloaded um, was the iPhone 5.5, uh, 13.45. Uh, so it's that one. Come on. All right, I, I'm, I froze here. Hmm. Give it a few, and if you need to reset the program, you can. Oh, uh, now just uh, all right. So uh, let's make sure I got the three, four. All uh, right, it's because it's being shown. It's it's not like it. All right. So once you import the the firmware. Import the firmware, retain the user user uh, user's data, and then from there you can you'll you'll have information uh, presented down down below where you can you can flash. Uh, current status firmware is not imported uh, for some reason due to the screen sharing. I can't. So let me. Wonder if I let me see if I can get away from screen sharing. Let's get back to PowerPoint and see what it looks like. Back up the screen. I'll play with. Let me get yeah, it, it may just be a conflict with Zoom. Yeah, that's why I got rid of Zoom. So now I'm trying to in the in the background here with that one PowerPoint. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let me go back to sharing 3U tools. All right, so um, there apparently is a, a, a conflict. So selecting import flash, I selected the flash that I wanted. I made sure, definitely make sure this is a must that you retain users' data. Once you've checked those boxes, now you're ready to hit flash. I'm not going to hit flash because I've just come upon the, tw the my 20 minute mark, and it does take some time to um, update the phone. So once the flash or upgrade 
is complete. Now you're ready to use your forensic tool of choice to perform a full system uh, file system download because now you are your device is at a, an, uh, a firmware version that is supported by the uh, check rain uh, exploit. Kent, that's it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Barry. We got a couple questions in chat right now. All right, first one is from, I just need to go through them really quick. First one is from Jesse uh, Macias. So it's looking like we don't need the pin or passcode since the pro flash is via DFU mode. He's asking, is it necessary? Uh, yes, it is because it, um, as you go through the update process, the Apple device knows that it is password locked. So you will come up to a point where you will need to enter that passcode or password for the update process to continue. Now, if you know it, sure, you can enter it in and the process will move forward. However, if you don't know it, then um, it will basically fail and then revert back to the original OS that was on the device. Hmm. From Peter Salas, he says, I've used iTunes to conduct the flashing of the confirmed downloaded IPSW before. What is the difference with using this software? It's more streamlined? Um, well, it, it, it offers more, more services. I, I just like the way it looks and it's, and nothing against Apple, but they are so restrictive in, in what the, in what you can do. This, this is easily laid out. And plus you are forced to buy Apple update it to the latest and greatest. Now, as you, as you see in, in the, in the firmware, uh, I am able only able to download 3.5, uh, or 3.45. 3.5 just came out. I don't know if there's a, a compatibility issue hmm. uh, with 3.5. With so I will always use the um, uh, an older available version. Okay. Um, and then we have from Jonathan Kaya, can we downgrade the version? Because sometimes you don't want the last version. The only way you're going to be able to down, downgrade the version is if you either used Apple or this tool. Um, let's see, let me go to Pro Flash. All right, so you see how uh, up in the upper right corner you said query compatible, uh, SH, SH blobs, or download them. If you've never uh, either saved those SH blobs from the previous version. No, you will not be able to downgrade a to a non Apple supported currently supported firmware. So in other words, um, if I wanted to download uh, 13.4 and install it, once uh, there is a point in the download process where it will either a query Apple or query three U tools for those SH blocks. If Apple doesn't have them, which it won't because Apple wants you to install the latest and greatest firmware. Um, and if three U tools does not have those stored SH blobs, you will not be able to downgrade your device to that firmware version. Hmm. Okay. Uh, from Michael Yasumoto, he's, one, he's wondering why not use iTunes to upgrade? I don't like iTunes. And as, as uh, Peter pointed out in, in the chat, uh, he's never lost data, but there's several times where I, iTunes uh, won't update it. So again, with iTunes, you're you're restricted to what Apple allows you to do. With 3U tools, um, it's a little bit more uh, open as to what you can do to the device. Um, can you flash downgrade firmware? Can you flash an iPhone that got stuck 
as memory was full when the updated when it was updated to the new version. I don't know if you can see this. Are are you looking at the chat right now, Perry? I, I am. I I I I just see Peter's at at the moment. So what's up, Peter? All right. So who who is the individual that? Uh, it's it's like Philip Philip XL. Yes, at two twenty two. Can All you right, flash so down grid firmware? Can you uh can you flash iPhone that got stuck as memory? Oh you oh you've got um that that one's gonna that one's gonna be interesting with 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 with, with either full memory and or a full device where there's minimal capacity to to allow the upgrade. Ooh, that um I don't know. I I've never I never ran into that that situation. Sorry, Philip. Hmm. From Christopher, why not jailbreak at the same time? Is it a separate process? It's not. It's not a separate process. It, it's going to be. You're, you're going to be uploading an an altered uh, file system, but we're going to be in our forensic tools we are going to be using uh, a, a forensic tool that has the uh, the uh, the check rain exploit already um, you know already included in in the process so we don't want to have in our report yes we uploaded a firmware that jail broke the device here in california jailbreak jail, jail or or rooting a device um now you have to go to a, a an explanation w within the jury that you may not be hmm. hey perry i seem to have lost your audio can you try speaking again i yeah i'm, I'm speaking okay. i hear you now okay um so it, I don't want to put in my report that I jailbroke the device. I would I would prefer to put in the report that I updated the firmware of the device using uh, Apple's a, a, a confirmed Apple signed firmware. Then I let the forensic tool do its job to obtain a full file system download. Hmm. Okay, and and then from piece of from Christoph, um, do you know what types of artifacts you uh, might lose after this type of update? Well, um, obviously, if you uh, if you fail to check the box, you reset the device. So in in that instance, you uh, you lose a lot. Um, the the only artifacts that I am aware of losing is the date and timestamps of file system um, artifacts, uh, because those are updated in the update process. However, you are still going to, you will still preserve the SMS database because um, you've retained the user data. It might it might have a newer timestamp um, on uh, on the on the file system or on that file system database because it, it's gone through the update process, but the content will still be uh, available and the date and timestamps within that database indicating when that text message was received and and or when they when a call was uh, received. That information will still be accurate. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm just going to give everyone just another 30 seconds to post any last minute questions. I just like to. Um, next week, we have Maggie Gaffney, um, our, one of the instructors at Teal Technologies, and she's going to be doing another session on SQLite. So, in the follow up email to this recording, to this webinar, uh, you'll have a link to be able to have access to that. Um, so see, just see if we have any last minute questions. All right, okay. 
So I think I'd like to wrap it up, 2.30, nice and short and sweet. Thank you everyone for attending. Thank you, Perry, as always, for uh, providing wonderful content. Um, yeah, so everyone, thank you. Hope to see you next week. And yeah, everyone stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good one. Thank you. <laughs>